Hey everybody, Jeremy here, and welcome to my first toy review in months. And I gotta tell you, it feels really good to be back doing this, and this is one heck of a set to make a comeback with. This is the new NECA Toys Superman vs. Muhammad Ali 2-pack. And, you know, when NECA first announced this, it blew my mind because, for one, I had no idea that something like this even existed in comic book form, and two, it's so unique, it's really something I thought would be more of like a convention exclusive, and not something that you can just walk into Toys R Us and pick up, but you can, and it'll cost you about $38.99, so let's round it up, call it $40, 20 bucks for fig per figure, and that's pretty uh, comparable to what NECA usually charges for his figures, somewhere within the $20 to $25 range. So in case you're wondering, why in the world was Superman even fighting Muhammad Ali? It was a comic book. In 1978 and basically the, the long and short of it is Clark Kent was interviewing Muhammad Ali when an alien invasion struck and they were going to destroy the world but in order to try to prevent that they wanted to see who was Earth's mightiest warrior that could take on their warrior and the two Mightiest Warriors were Muhammad Ali and Superman, so they were forced to fight each other in a boxing ring on the home planet of this alien, and because it was around like a red star, Superman lost his power, so he fought Muhammad Ali straight up, Muhammad Ali beat him, he was Earth's champion, he went on to defeat the alien's champion, and um, you know, everyone is happy, guess what, the world didn't get destroyed, at least not by that. So that's the long and short of it, but for now. Let's take a look at these awesome figures, including this wonderful packaging that NECA has presented it in. And I really like it. I love the boxing ring and the ropes that we have here. You can actually kind of feel it a little bit. You can feel the texture on the ropes, so that's good. On the side, we've got Muhammad Ali. And then on the other side, we've got Superman. And of course, they are posed very, very similarly to how they are um, on the comic book. And if you do want to read the comic book, it is available available digitally. So, you know, you can go on Google Play, something like that, and you can just uh, buy the digital version of that comic book and give it a read. It was a one-off. And then we look over on the back, see some more awesome animation. Really like this box. NECA is really good at making nice boxes. So if you are an in-the-box collector, you can take the thing, you can take the figures out, Look at them, put them back in, and no one would ever know. We won't tell. But, you know, I don't roll like that here. I take my figures out of the box, and that's exactly what I'm going to do now. So let's get a nice, close look at Muhammad Ali versus Superman. So if you're familiar with any of NECA's figures in recent memory, whether it be from the Predator series or from Batman series or some of their video game related stuff, you already have a very solid foundation of what these figures are. So as far as the tooling goes, as far as the articulation goes, as far as the overall feel and really the smell of the figures, these do not stray very far from those norms. Now, that is not by any means a bad thing. It's just letting you know that it is very consistent in the quality that you get from NECA figures. And as well, some things that might turn you off about their figures will be present here. And the things that you enjoy in NECA's figures will also be present here. Let's talk about some of the things that are enjoyable. First, let's take a look at the way that these particular action figures are painted, the design of it all. And just by the very, very accentuated, dark, shadowy lines that you can see on Superman and Muhammad Ali's body, and even some very odd paint choices, such as what's going on in Superman's hair, because it looks kind of blue, that's all because they went for the graphic novel approach. And now, this is also something that we've seen a lot of in their um, video game uh, series, in which... It's a very unique paint job made to give the characters a more more of a graphic novel kind of a look, just like how the characters are painted to give them more of an 8 bit or 16 bit look in the video game line. So these figures are definitely not going to look true to life. They're going to look like physical adaptations of comic book drawings. And that is definitely something that you do not get from other brands, especially at this price, and so at big box retail outlets. So if you like those things, if you like that kind of style, these figures are going to be right up your line. And I do like it because it stays true to the source material. Now, as far as um, as far as the other features, a Superman's cape, for example, 
I do like that it is a it is a cloth cape, so it feels very good. It flows naturally. I think this is also the exact same cape that NECA used with the Christopher Reeves seven inch uh, Superman figure that was released. Um, Maybe about like a year ago or so. Maybe it was a little bit more. Uh, but it was one of those um, surprise releases at Toys R Us. And I believe this is the exact same cape. So they did a really good job on that. I also really do like the uh, the paint decor. Not just the accentuated graphic the novel drawings uh, that they have on the characters. you know, But just the overall paint overall. I don't see like a lot of scratches and scuffs along the body and the skin tones that you could get with these figures um, especially when it comes to the joints and the elbows and whatnot once you work them out more and more sometimes paint can begin to scrape off of the figure that hasn't happened yet not to say that that won't happen at some point in the future now if you're looking for articulation just know that if there's one thing that NECA figures could uh, do better in is going to be articulation because you're getting very very simple movement here so let's just use let's just use Muhammad Ali here for an example of what kind of articulation that you can get here now one thing that I will point out the head movement seems very smooth and I'm used to more of a stiff neck action when it comes to neck of figures but I'm pleased to say that the head does move smoothly up and down and smoothly from side to side. I did not have to work it a little bit. I didn't have to apply heat or hair dryer or anything else to loosen up this figure or Superman before actually trying to mess around with it, which is something that we typically tend to do with NECA figures because there can be some really tightness and there can even be some breakage involved, but not so much this time around. So I do like that you can pivot the head from side to side and you can move the head up and down and it's very, very smooth. I like that. Now, as far as the arm articulation goes, very standard stuff. We still have the regular single jointed elbow with these figures. I will love do double jointed elbows. I will love double jointed knees, but we're just not getting that with NECA figures. And for this case, I'm willing to forgive it because we're looking at boxers here and boxers don't really need to have double jointed knees. Um, but since, you know, this could be the basis for other types of figures in the future, I would like to see the double jointed knee kind of become a standard when it comes to NECA figures. So you can see you got the single jointed knee there over on the bottom of his feet you know you can move it from side to side that's awesome you can also pivot it just a little just a little bit of pivot not a whole lot of pivot if you want to look for some crazy ankle pivot your best guess or your best choice is going to be the uh, marvel legends line uh, from hasbro so they tend to do a very good job on that uh, and you also have what appears to be uh, some toe articulation if i can it's very stiff, but you see that there is a cut right there on his toe, and it looks as though you can move it up to get some toe articulation, but that does seem quite stiff. I don't want to really mess it out. I don't want to mess it up, so I'm not going to uh, really play around with it all that much. And as for the ab crunch, you do have that, so you can just rock them up and down and you can rotate it a little bit just from side to side. It's very standard articulation when it comes to things that NECA is offering here. Now the likeness of Muhammad Ali's face and his facial features that came out in this character are very, very good. Um, as you know, Muhammad Ali passed away last year, so this is great to have this type of a figure to be another testament to, uh, to his greatness and be able to immortalize him in a way that toy collectors like me can really get behind. But, you know, even though this is based on a drawing, they really nailed the way that he looks, you know, all the way down to all the way down to the way that his mouth is shaped. You know, they, they really did a good job. He is completely identifiable, the sort of squared head, the way that the hair is. Necker really did that justice with Muhammad Ali. I think they did a really, really good job on that. Let's move him away for a second. Take a look at the Superman. It's always good to have different versions of a Superman. It's great to have the Christopher Reed Superman, you know, and just the artist interpretations of many other Superman. And this Superman here, you know, it's not going to be one that 
a lot of people really would remember as being a particular type of Superman from a particular era who is iconic in his own way. He just looks like a Superman. And I think that it's good to be able to get little variants of that. And Superman also has a very smooth range of motion with his head, just like Muhammad Ali does. So I'm great that that's not an isolated situation. I'm glad that Superman also shares the same benefits that Muhammad Ali does. Love the color blue here. Love the fact that on this figure, at least, I don't see a lot of scratches and scuffs and things that make you go, oh, no, they messed it up here. Uh, really good job with that. With Superman here, as you can see, his eyes are closed. And, um, you know, he's going to be forever like that. So it's going to kind of uh, pose to be a, a little bit difficult when it comes to trying to pose him up in, in as many unique ways as you want. Due to the fact that his eyes are closed, you try to get him like in a flying pose. Superman doesn't really fly with his eyes closed like that, so that can look a little bit weird. But you can try to pull it off if you want. And I also want to point out that even though I did not take them out of the... Uh, packaging here as you can see you do have some interchangeable hands all of them having to do with Superman so you have these two flying hands here and then you have two fisted hands without the boxing gloves uh, I'm glad that NECA decided to include these in with this uh, with these uh, figures although personally I would always want to keep the boxing gloves on Superman just due to the fact that when are you ever going to be in a situation where you would have a Superman with boxing gloves on and in this case I would definitely prefer for Superman to have those gloves on and have them on all the time but if you wanted to get him in in a flying pose I'm glad that you have the option to do so and especially if you have one of those NECA flight stands and that can really help you out there so as far as the displaying goes with these figures and this would pretty much be the pose that I will want to keep these guys in a pose of Muhammad Ali straight punching Superman right in the face because uh, like, again, when are you ever going to be able to do this and have it make sense in terms of actually this is what happened? And it poses a very unique challenge if you like to pose your figures because you have to set it up so that it's a nice, clean, clear punch. You can get Superman's face to be moving off to one side. If you can work with the leg articulation a little bit to give it just a little bit more of a style to it. The way that they're posed in the packaging is great. The only problem is they don't actually stand up that way in that exact same pose, especially Superman since he was kind of floating. So um, if you wanted to really accurately recreate that, then stands are going to be necessary. But you can still pull off some pretty uh, cool boxing poses with these guys even if you don't have any stands so I really really like these figures I think NECA did a great job it's more of the same as far as the articulation goes um, but the consistency and the sculpts and the paint and everything else is present with these figures. So the most unique factor is going to be the source material that these figures are based off of. And everything else is not revolutionary or a sign of better things to come. Unless the smoothest of these heads here. Uh, maybe that can be one of those things. But I guess we'll see. So thank you guys so much for watching this. Be sure to subscribe if you want to see more toy videos. Which I will be producing when I'm able, as well as house hunting videos. That's right, I'm looking for a house and I'm sharing that experience with you guys. Be sure to subscribe to this channel. And since YouTube seems to be screwing up people's sub boxes and notifications and all that stuff, click, click that little bell that's near the subscription box so that you can actually be notified properly when those videos are uploaded. All right, so thank you guys so much for watching again. And until next time, I'm Jeremy. And I'll talk to you later.